you guys are going to be standing at the top of the bleachers. Okay, and you are going to be some distance away from the edge. And that's the number I gave you, whatever number it was. Okay, you're going to be standing that distance away from the edge, and you're going to be holding a water balloon. You are going to drop the water balloon so it lands on the ground. However, I am going to be walking forward. And I'm going to get to some starting point. And I'm going to travel some distance until I'm underneath of you. And that's the same as, let, let's go ahead and use the same symbol as me. That's the same as the distance you are away. At the same time, the bull, uh, balloon is going to fall some distance. Actually, let's, that's the symbol. I, that's the way I showed time. Let's show distance differently. Here we go. Let's do an arrow down. Perfect. What you need to figure out is how long does it take the balloon to fall and how fast do I walk to get to you? Okay? So there's the problem. I'm walking forward. You guys are going to be dropping the balloon. You need to figure out where those things... I know I can talk easier here. I'm far enough away. Um, that way you guys can tell when to let go of it. Because if it takes me 30 seconds to get to you, and you drop it at 30 seconds, it'll miss me. Because you'll drop it, and then the, ball, the balloon will fall and won't hit me. Likewise, if you drop it immediately when I start you won't hit me either because by the time it hits the ground, I won't make it to you yet. Instead, you need to take those two numbers, how long it takes to fall and how long it takes me to get there and combine them. You're gonna end up subtracting the balloon's time from mine. So if it takes the balloon 10 seconds to hit the ground, you'll need to drop the balloon 10 seconds before I get to you. So that the last 10 seconds of the balloon falling and the last 10 seconds of me walking will meet up in the middle. That's what's going on. Okay? So here's what I want you guys to do. We're going to divide this in half. We're going to do knowns and unknowns for me. Knowns and unknowns for the balloon. So what I want you to do is read through the directions. Think about what things do we know and what things do we need to know. If it's something we know or need to know about the balloon, put it on the right side of your paper. If it's something we need to know or know about me, then put it on the left side of the paper. I'll give you about three minutes or so to come up with your list. Um, but see what you can come up with. You should be able to come up with at least three for each one. Three knowns and unknowns for each one. So see what you guys can do there. Me or the balloon? Which does, the balloon or me? The balloon. the balloon, good. Let's go ahead and call down positive. Let's just do that for smiles and grins today. Um, so the acceleration of the balloon is 9.8 meters per second squared. Excellent. All right, next group of uh, guys, you guys there in the middle over there. Uh, what do you guys have for either me or the balloon, known or unknown? Good. So the balloon or me? Good. So the displacement for the balloon is 8.89 meters. And notice all my numbers are positive because I made down positive and all of this is falling. So that's why I did it. Okay? Good. So acceleration is 9.8. Displacement is 8.89 uh, for the balloon so far. Good. All right. Uh, Y'all in the back right corner, dudes in the back, what do you got?
Very good. The balloon is going to start from rest. No, you may not throw the balloon at me. Because, one, you don't know how fast you're going to throw it. And two, I don't want to get the balloon thrown at me. Okay? Uh, they'll likely pop in your hand anyway. They're not very sturdy. So if you try to accelerate them to throw them, they'll frequently pop. Um, also, I can tell when I get hit by a balloon that's dropped and one that's hit by getting thrown. Okay, there's a big difference. Um, I've been hit by enough balloons, I can tell what it feels like for each one. Okay? Uh, dudes in the back middle, what's something else? Um, uh, D for you, as Jim said, is uh, meet, uh, meet the game. Yeah, so the D for me is whatever number I gave your group. So it's the group value. Whatever you have for your group, that's D. 6, 9, 12, 15, whatever it is. Okay? Good. Uh, dudes in the back left, what's something y'all got? Uh, which velocity? My, mine or the balloon? Yes, I do not know what my velocity is. We do not know how fast I'm going to walk. We're going to figure that out. Okay? Good. Uh, team in the middle there on that left side, what's something y'all got? We don't know the what? So, uh, good. We don't know how long it's going to take me to walk to get to you. Good. Um, and team over here in the front. Good. Um, not everyone put this, but it is important to know that my acceleration is zero. Um, the other thing for the balloon, we need to know how long it's going to take. Some groups put final velocity. You're right, we don't know the final velocity for the balloon. One other thing I got asked by a couple of groups. I'm going to put it off to the side because you may not use it. In case you want to know uh, Mr. B's height, is 1.9 meters. So there are a couple of groups that thought, um, I'm not really trying to drop it onto the ground. I'm actually trying to drop it onto Mr. B. If you want this number, um, it's 1.9. You don't have to use this. You might want to. You don't have to. Um, I've had groups hit me both ways. So don't feel like you have to use the 1.9. If you feel like using it, you can. All right, so I'll give you a chance in a second to figure out the equation. But let's talk about the motions here. So... If you look at the knowns and unknowns, we can tell a couple of things. So first of all, we can tell the balloon is in free fall because the balloon is acted on by gravity, which is 9.8, and it's accelerating. So for the balloon, you're going to have to use one of these equations. But for me, it's a little different. See, for me, my acceleration is zero, which means I'm using this. All right, but before we can do anything else, we need to figure out how fast am I going to walk. All right, so we calculated my average time, so it was 1.87 to travel 3.4 meters. So we calculated that, and that gave us an average velocity for me to be 1.81 meters per second. That seems to be fairly consistent with what I usually get, so we'll go ahead and assume that is the correct value. Um, obviously, there'll be some variation in my, my exact speed, uh, but we'll talk about that when we get to the end of the lab. So now you have everything you need. My motion will be constant, so use that to solve for how long it's going to take me to reach your group. Uh, free fall, same thing. How long is it going to take uh, for the balloon to reach the ground? Then you'll subtract those numbers because if it takes the balloon, let's just say seven seconds, I made that up, and it takes me 10 seconds to get to you, then you want to drop the balloon seven seconds before I get to you. So 10 minus 7 would be 3. Um, if you're at home, 
uh, you'll need to just pick a value for the meters. I, I would say go ahead and pick uh, 15. So if you're at home and you need a value for the meters, go ahead and use 15 for that one uh, if you need to. All right.